We're going to turn our attention now to the Texans and Deshaun Watson. Reports saying that the Texans are now willing to listen to offers. He apparently reported to camp on Sunday despite his request for a trade during the offseason. There's a lot to unload when it comes to Watson. Let's start off with what kind of offers do you think the Texans are looking for? Oh, look, I, I don't think there's anything real happening with Deshaun Watson. The Texans were, were, were screaming and yelling they'd never trade him four months ago. I told you guys then the guy doesn't have a future in Houston. He won't be their starting quarterback in week one. He will eventually get traded. Um, eventually, Nick Casario, the new GM, um, watched this situation sort of deteriorate between the player and the organization. And then you also have the specter of what uh, Deshaun Watson could be facing uh, from the league, from the authorities, and then from the civil case that are all pending um, as as people continue to investigate whether or not uh, he sexually assaulted anyone. You, you put all that in, in sort of together right now, Jenny, and his status is still unresolved from the league. Is he going to be suspended? Is he going to end up on the commissioner's exempt list? Um, he's not going to be playing any football for the Texans. And and what he's doing, I would equate to a hold in. I mean, you're there, but I don't think you're going to see him leading drills. I don't think you're going to see him in any preseason games. I don't think you're going to see any NFL teams trading for him until there's much more clarity on exactly what you're acquiring. W would the Texans love to be getting flooded with phone calls right now to move this contract and move this problem? Yeah, but that means somebody else is inheriting it. And uh, no, I I think he eventually gets dealt, but I, I think you got, it's it's not going to be right before the, the you know camp starts. A hold in is a great way to put it. Watson trying to avoid that fifty thousand dollar daily fine by reporting to camp. So now what for the Texans? How do they handle this situation? What happens at quarterback? Well, look, the Houston Texans are going to be probably the worst team in football. Um, that they are rebuilding, they're, they're, they're relaunching, and they're doing it w without a great cap situation, without much talent, and without an abundance of draft picks. In fact, they've had um, a, a dearth of draft picks. So uh, I don't think we're going to be talking about the Houston Texans a whole lot this year. Once this Deshaun Watson thing is resolved, um, I, I feel sorry for David Culley. He waited a long time to get a head coaching job and now he's in one that is really untenable that is a team without any path to winning football this year certainly not even on a quasi regular basis very tough position to be in JLC thank you so much always appreciate all of your information and insight if you're looking more for your daily fix of NFL news and analysis you got to look no further than the pick six podcast our guys getting you up to speed each day the latest a mailbag episode it was just released you got to listen and subscribe today Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.